Okay, that wasn't behind the door. For those of you guys who are new, this is new for me to- Wait, what a minute? What is that? So there's more cobwebs. Is that a cross in Herobrine's chest? Yo, that's a grave. Wait a minute. Are you, like, modifying this? Or are you the one who originally built this? You want me to be 100% honest? What's up guys, Brandon here, and welcome back to another episode on my channel. Today, guys, we are back on the realms, and guys, it's been a while since I've done the intro on this side of the house, usually I'm on the other one, but we are back on the realms, and today we got a good episode planned for you guys. We got two things that we want to do. First and foremost, I want to finish up some work on the house, do a little bit more, complete one of the rooms. That's what I've been trying to do recently, it's just in the next couple episodes I want to finish up more work on the house, because... I think it looks good on the outside, I, I think it looks nice, but the inside is kind of lacking, there's just empty space. So that's the first thing we're going to be doing, and second off, well I've done some investigating this past week, and we've made a lot of headway in trying to figure out the truth behind that Herobrine statue in our house. So I actually have a clip to show you guys later in the episode, where I actually do uncover the truth behind the secret of Herobrine in our house, so you guys are going to make sure to stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, other than that, if you guys are excited for more Realms SMP, make sure to drop a like down below show your support uh make sure to subscribe if you guys are new new realms episodes come out every single saturday so make sure you have notifications turned on so you never miss an upload but i have the further ado let me put in my headphones and we can get started so first and foremost guys you'll notice this thing over here yeah we got pranked we got pranked it's uh lovely do i have a shovel on me i do have a shovel so we got pranked fusion and eris decided to uh come over to my house i don't know why but they did and uh, they saw the hero brine thing in my basement, so they checked that out. And then for whatever reason, they decided to put crosses all over my house. I think I have a, yeah, I have another one down here. So that was Fusion and Eris. I got a bunch of comments from you guys saying that they did this. So uh, yeah, thank you for letting me know. I don't really know why they did it, but um, yeah, they did. I think those are the only two that they put. So we should be a okay. I'm gonna patch this up actually. Realize I had a hole my house but before we get started with anything else of course we have to put someone on the sub wall i've been kind of forgetting to do that recently so i'm going to try and uh do that more frequently i think i have signs down here in these chests a lot of chests just kind of everywhere i need to like consolidate it is there a sign aha okay we have a sign now we can go over to our wall right over here the person going on the wall today is Jordan Bur Birkenfield. Can I even? Okay. Jordan Birkenfield plays. I believe I. Oh, Birkenfeld. My apologies. Birkenfeld plays. So he is going on the sub wall. He commented a really, really good idea on a last episode and was commenting them again and again through the videos. So huge shout out to you. Thank you for the idea because that is actually what we're going to be doing today for this episode. So Jordan over here commented that, hey, maybe you should make a horse garage. And I was like, wait a minute. That's a great idea because I had commented earlier that... Huh, okay, we're missing slabs over here. But I commented earlier that I was thinking of maybe making a garage over here, but it was like, you know, you don't really drive cars. And I also was commenting earlier because I didn't have anywhere to put the horses that I have. Well, what if I just make a garage for the horses? It solves, you know, two issues with one solution. So huge shout outs to Jordan. Great idea. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be working on at first today. So we want to make this into a garage. The issue is, how am I going to do that? So... What I'm thinking is perhaps I could do like three space and three, but then that would leave this kind of, you know, not not too open. I kind of want to keep this open aired. So my follow-up idea was what if I just make like an area over here? That's what I think I'm going to do. We're going to have an area back here. I might have to fill in one of these. I think I'm going to fill in this one. Let's see if I have glass. Okay, let's see what this looks like if we fill it in just like that. It looks kind of okay and then like you know we can have this kind of go this way or like we could even do some sort of design over here where like we have that just like that eh, it's not bad I, I don't really it's not good either that's the problem but we're gonna keep it like that and then we're gonna have our little horse area 
which I gathered some ingredients for. So we have a bunch of wood because what I'm thinking of doing is we have pillars. So if I do that, what would that look like? So pillars right here don't exactly look too great. Truth to be told, I might move them back a little bit. Like what would they look like if they came like down here? Like maybe a pillar right there. Then also, you see the issue is, if we put the pillar here, then there's not much room to walk in. And I want a lot of room to walk. So my other idea was, instead of impeding this side, what if we made it this way? So, let's see, like one, two, space. Hmm. So if we put one there, we put one there. We could do that. Okay. Okay, so this would be like the horse stable area. Uh, we would need fences, which means I need a crafting table down here. I'm just gonna steal, actually no, I can just make one. What am I doing? There we go. Making a crafting table, problem solved. I haven't made one of these in a while. Oh yeah, so in case you guys are wondering why this uh, area is kind of boarded up and you know, looks kind of nicely. Basically we figured out what happened, what was the truth behind the hero brand statue, what was going on there. So I decided we're just gonna lock it off for good. We're gonna just gonna seal it off, have nothing else over there. And so I decided to make this uh, cute little thing. There'll be a clip coming up soon about what happened over there. Basically, uh, I was recording yesterday and I came across what was, you know, going on. But uh, yeah, you guys have to stay tuned for that. Anyways, how do I make fences? I actually have no idea. Is there a crafting recipe here? Fences, aha. Or do I want spruce fences? I think I want spruce fences, yeah. So if I do that, I can get spruce fences. There we go. So we got 18 spruce fences, and these we could just bring all the way back here. But they don't connect to the glass. Hmm. See, now I don't know how I feel about this, because it's like... Uh, it, it... I don't like it. How am I going to do this horse garage? Maybe we could do like a modern approach to a horse garage? What would be a modern approach to a horse garage. Hmm. Okay, that actually does look somewhat like a garage, and we could even just fill this in with, like, support beams. I actually kind of like that look right there. It looks pretty good. So now the next step is to actually make this functional because horses are quite tall. Horses are quite tall. I think this is the design that we're gonna go with. This looks like the most promising one. And then we can just place that like that, that like that. Okay. Okay, so I think we've come up with a design that I actually am, like, you know, I don't hate terribly. I'm not sure about the fences. Let me know what you guys think, if I should keep them or not. But I think that we have a, uh, a design decided on right over here. So I'm actually going to, uh, I need to replace this. But, well, do I need to replace this part? I guess I need to put this part over here, just so the house remains consistent. But we will have some grassy area for the horses and whatnot, you know. We don't want them just living on concrete. That wouldn't be too cool. But the next part, what I want to do, I want to set this up so that it is fully automatable. So how can I do that? I want this block underneath here. This will carry a redstone signal. Hmm. How would this work? Because I want pistons like this, but then they need to be extended like that okay does that work and then i just huh but i can't place blocks there so what i need to do is can i put this down like that and then can i just place blocks over it no i cannot see that's the that's the problem right there i can't place blocks hmm what if i put a hole right here and then I have this go around like that. Can I place a block there? 
Aha! I've solved it. So I can do that, and that'll bring these down. So if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm making a door. That way if I do that, uh, I can't walk across. That's annoying. Hmm. What if these weren't here? I could walk over them. Okay. Okay. That could be acceptable. I don't really like it. I do wish I could have that there, but... Yeah, no, the cobblestone walls don't allow it. That's that's problematic. So, same thing on this side. What we want is this to go... Not that. This to go here. We want our sticky pistons to go down here. This is just a simple door, basically. So you can put your cobblestone walls on top of that. And then we just need the redstone to work, essentially. Just like that. But... If I do that, yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. Do I need to break this though? Ugh, that's not that's not a good look. I got some dirt though, so I could bring this up just so that it hides everything. And if I place that there, place that around just like that, then I don't have any dirt, do I? Well, I have a bunch of dirt in here. Ta-da! Got some dirt. Can just plug this up just like that and now okay okay yeah this works this works we got our door it's fully automated i am going to replace this actually with concrete just because i need to keep it you know there we go there we go see perfect and then we can do that we can do that and then uh this will eventually become grass i guess but over here is going to be the problem or well is it is it going to be the problem because if we can just replace it with cobblestone mm, the glass yeah oh how are we gonna do this i mean it doesn't look terrible it just doesn't look good you guys know what i mean, I mean we could use glass panes but like really glass panes for your horses I might have an idea. So if we pull this back, pull this over here, put this over here, I'm just gonna have that there. What if we just abolish, what if we just make this a flat wall? Would that work? What would that look like? Or even just like this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I may have discovered a solution. There we go. See, now that looks nice. And what we can do is we can put that there. And then this could actually just become a doorway. Boom. Okay. Problem solved. That that took way longer than it should have. I do apologize, guys. It took forever for me to think up of this idea. But now we have a fully functional horse stable just like this. And it can lock and unlock from both the outside and the inside. So like I can unlock that, I can unlock that. Oh, I need to, uh-oh. Come on, come on, I can hit the lever from here, right? There we go, alrighty. So now it's perfect. And honestly, I'm just gonna break all of this. We're just gonna put dirt over here. I don't really think it matters too much. You can't, you can't really tell from the underneath. I mean, even if you can, I mean, I'll just fill it up and cover it up. Like here, if we look from underneath, yeah, it doesn't look too bad like that. And I mean, I can always just place another layer of concrete underneath. So we're fine. It's time to grab the horse. Well, no, it's time to decorate. Okay, so we finished the exterior of the stables. It looks actually pretty good, except for that one block up there. That, that doesn't belong there. Where's my concrete? There we go. The last block placed. Now the stables are complete except for the interior so that's what we're left here to do that's why i got some iron because we're gonna make two cauldrons just like that we have our greenery area what do we want inside of our stables um probably some ferns do we want vines probably not vines i'll definitely get some lilies of the valley i like those we'll get a tulip why not we'll just get some of these and then we also want some hay the issue is now 
we don't want our horses to be able to jump the wall. So what we might have to do is, um, you know, maybe do something a little bit different. Have like a double, double cobble wall or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. Ooh, we don't want it there. Yeah, we don't really want it there. How about here? No. I'll put it there. Why not? We'll have that there. We can have this over here. Okay, so we got the cauldrons set up. I got some water. So that's, you know, like their little drinking area. That's where the horses can get their water from. I need another bucket for my pool. Perfect. Actually, kind of like this. This actually looks pretty nice. So there we go. We got that filled in. Now, how can I do some... Well, we can put some hay right there, obviously. Like, you know, we got some back there. Uh, we, could, we could put some in the ground. I don't really know how nice that would look. You know what I mean? For the horses themselves. Like, okay, we could have some hay there. Now the horses can jump up, though. That's the issue. So the question is, do we simply just, you know let it be or do we do something about it also i need bone meal does bone meal work on dirt it does not okay so we need some grass up in here Alrighty, guys so we're back the grass has spread which is very very nice i want i want a piece of grass on there there we go there we can uh we can make this grow up there we go we got a too high piece of grass i actually quite like that uh that might be a little bit too much maybe like right yeah that looks good just like this that's perfect now we can get some grass uh, growing in here. Maybe, uh, maybe put like a. Uh, where's my favorite flower? Where does he go? You're gonna go right over here. No, you're not. Just kidding. You're gonna go right there. Perfect. Okay, I think these actually look really, really nice. And an idea I had for uh, lighting up this area. I don't know if this is out yet, or if like you know the recipe is fully functional. But I do know that this is how you craft a lantern they are out okay that's perfect like look at that we could just have like a lantern just kind of like just chilling up here i don't know i feel like that would be like the perfect addition i just don't know where to put it like where can i put my lanterns uh what about what about what about one here okay and then one final one maybe like right here yeah that does that does an okay job of lighting it up i quite like that but i think it's time to grab the horses and see if they like their new home. Also, quick thing, I don't have names for these guys. So if you guys have any uh, like ideas for names or if I should just name them after subscribers, I don't know yet. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas for names, uh, let me know. That way I can uh, name these guys. But check this out, we got the first horse. He's inside his uh, little pen. I think he likes it. Do you like it? Are you happy? What if I give you hay? Can I give you hay? Oh, you're full health. I can't give him hay. I think he's happy. I think he enjoys it. I think, you know, it's a nice little place for him. And then this other guy right up here can take him. This horse is actually, I don't know whose horse this is. Uh, someone like came to my house and then left it at my house. And then we also took the diamond armor from Fusion's house with, uh, that was in the best friends video. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, uh, go check it out. It was me sneaking my best friend into realms. But that's how, uh, that's how that horse got here. But, uh, yeah. I think, oh, he's eating. See, he's happy. Yeah, he, he likes this. But I think, I think that's everything. I think that is everything in our little uh, horse pen. I think it turned out really, really nice. So huge thank you again to Jordan for the idea. But, uh, yeah, now is the moment. What, are you, are you looking at me? Are you trying to tell me something? I think you're trying to tell me that it's time for the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Of course, the secret behind the Herobrine statue in our house. So basically we recorded a bunch, a little clip uh, yesterday where I was on the realm and uh, well, we got to the bottom of it. So here is that clip, enjoy. Alrighty guys, so we've finished up some building, but now guys, it is time to change modes. It's time to go into detective mode guys because we have something that we actually need to figure out. You see, some things have been going on recently, and uh, you guys probably did notice last episode. Well, we 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 saw a hero brand thing somewhere down in the basement. I don't, I I don't know what it is to this day. And honestly, we also have some other things. So for whatever reason, that that statue that we found seemed to have attracted a lot of uh, a lot of visitors to our house. And what I mean by that is, so far I've seen Dicey's, Eris, and Fusion, Fusion of all people. Come to my house 
and like look at the statue and like check it out which is a little weird because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I honestly think it's a prank. I think it's like, there's a 70% chance that there is, that's a prank. So, we're gonna do some investigating today because I wanna figure out who is the culprit behind this. So first off, we have some crosses. We have, we have actually a lot of crosses. I've been kind of ignoring them up until now, but I think there's, yeah, there's another one up here. So these, I know for a fact are a prank because I saw Eris and Fusion place them. So, honestly, in terms of like my list of culprits, I don't think it was Eris or Fusion because why would they come to my house and do another prank if they were the ones behind the original prank? That would be like overkill. I don't know if it's Dicey's. He hasn't done a prank in a while, but he does tend to do a lot of pranks, so it could be him. But something that this actually makes me think is, this is Hero Brand we're talking about, and yet Action and Rage have done absolutely nothing like they haven't checked it out they haven't even said anything about it which leads me to believe that they're being awfully quiet so right now we have a we have a rage on the realm so i'm gonna go track him down and we're gonna go do some questioning see if it was him first off i guess for those of you guys who uh who are new here didn't see last episode i guess i should show you so we found this originally it was you know like all boarded up with concrete and stuff and you know it was just like that so i was gonna make a new stairway and then I broke it, and we found this. And wait. What was that? Is it down there? Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, we found this really weird thing. You know, it's all, like, collapsed. I swear I saw someone. I must be, I must be like, tripping. There's no way. Could it be? No, Rage is at his house. Rage is definitely in his house. But okay. There's this, like, really, really weird area. Did someone block off? I guess someone blocked off the lava. But it was originally like this. There was, like, this lava flow that was going down. It was really, like weird i don't know it looks it looks like really old really like corrupted and i think there was a sign yeah there's a sign over here that said i am waiting which is um yeah there definitely was something waiting down here gotta avoid every single time we have to like avoid this cobweb why isn't someone like broken this well yeah i'm gonna break it i don't like being stuck in this cobweb it annoys me but yeah and then there was like stuff over here there was like a redstone torch i lit up the area and stuff i can i get out of here come on how do i how do i Oh my goodness, there we go. That took way too long. And then over here was this door. And then behind the door was... Okay, that wasn't behind the door. For those of you guys who are new, this is new for me too. Wait, what a minute? What is that? So there's more cobwebs. Is that a cross in Herobrine's chest? Yo, that's a grave. Wait a minute. I just saw something behind the- Whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. I see someone there. Did we just catch someone red-handed? Did we just- Did we just- Hold on, guys, I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna give him a call, let me see if he answers. There's the voice call. Let's see. Is he gonna answer? Uh, Hello? 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 Is up, that uh What's up, Brandon? Are, are you in the realm right now? <laughs> uh maybe. Maybe. Oh, where where are you? are you? Are you at your house? I have something I want to talk to you about. Oh yeah. Um come meet me at my house. Oh, okay, okay. Are are you sure you're at your house? Are you sure you're not um at someone else's house? I'm pretty sure, Brandon. You you're pretty sure? Are you sure? You wanna, you wanna turn around? You wanna explain this to me, Rage? You wanna explain this to me? What is uh, this? Crap. Did you? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have, I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Are you like modifying this, or are you the one who originally built this? You want me to be one hundred percent honest? Yes, one hundred percent honest. What are you doing? You, you promise you won't get mad at me? Maybe. It, it was for a video, okay? I uh -huh. I decided I wanted to prank you, and uh -huh. then I kind of changed my mind. I was kind of taking it apart, and then um, I decided I wanted to make and it then, look better. <laughs> you were like, I'll take it apart. Ah, never mind. I'll just make it even even more. I'm sorry, Brandon. I didn't know you were on the server oh, until wait, I saw your name, and I couldn't just log off, you know? That's true, because I would have noticed. Well, I kind of noticed either way. Oh, no. Oh, wow. um, so you added so, an yeah, extra cross. Me. 
the it was me grave. and I was trying to prank you, but Dang. Um, I feel like everyone fell for it except for like got me. <laughs> I don't know. See, I thought it was a prank from the beginning. I really did. I Why really did, did did everyone else think it was real? I'm not sure. I think Fusion thought it was a prank. I think Eris was more on the real side. I'm pretty sure Dicey thought it was real as well. So I mean, might not have worked on me, but you pranked the rest of the members. This went from like a prank on me to a prank on everyone. Ow! Oh no, he pulled out the. <laughs> Where are you going, Rage? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Where'd you go? Now, kid. Oh no. No. Oh my I'm goodness. Sorry. I'm sorry, Brandon. I'm well, sorry. You forgive me? I, I, I guess I have to. I mean, I, I have been pranking you a lot, so I guess this is your revenge. This yeah. is your revenge it, about it was me a revenge. against okay, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I guess I guess this is the truth behind the hero brand statue underneath my house. You caught me, man. I <sighs> caught you. I can't believe I caught you red-handed. That was... I was trying... Like, uh, I was going like down and I saw... A like, little bit longer. <laughs> I saw, like, a name tag and I was like, is there someone down there? Like, there's no way there's someone down I there. I mean, who else is on, right? It exactly. I was, like, I was like, Rage is on, but is it really him? Is it really him down here? Well, and you then, got me, man. And then it was. <laughs> I got you red-handed. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, bad timing. Well, bad I guess, time. uh... I guess since this failed, I guess we gotta go prank I'll, someone else next. I'll, I'll take it apart, I, I promise. I mean, yeah, we can leave it. It's a nice memento of the occasion that, that you failed. <laughs> a prank. Hey, what are you doing? Now he doesn't have legs! Now he doesn't have legs! Just leave it like that, just leave it like that. Wait, wait, wait. He's a floating hero, Brian. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. We just gotta get on. We just gotta get, like, white stained glass and just go like that. And it's a ghost. <laughs> Look at that. It's a ghost. There it is. Anyways, we caught Rage. He got caught red-handed. Oh. So, um, I guess, I guess we gotta- Ow! Why do you keep hitting me? I'm gonna hop off, man. Oh, uh, there Stop. he goes. Alrighty, well, I'm sorry, Rage. But, you know what? Maybe we'll prank someone in the future. Together. Yeah, that's yeah. actually a good idea. Yeah. Leave a like if you guys want to see that. If yes. Brandon is still recording. Yes, I still am. So, uh, that was it. That was the end of the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. It was more of a building episode. Of course, we did have that little I Hear O'Brien clip. But let me know what we should do next episode if you have any ideas. There's definitely a lot of things to do. I mean, we finished up the horses. We finished up this room. But we still have this giant room. We need somewhere to put the villagers. I mean, we still have... Uh, so we finished up the downstairs room. We still have this middle room. I don't know what to do with. We still have this upstairs area. We still even have this top room. So there is still a lot of the house that needs to be completed. So uh, yeah, I'm going to continue some work off camera. But if you guys have any ideas for any rooms, things like that, stuff that, you know, we need that could liven up the house, of course, let me know down in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, if you guys do give me an idea that I like, of course, you will be put on the subscriber wall. But uh, yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.